Hi there, I'm Black Bright, and if it's the first time to my channel, welcome, subscribe, share, all that kind of stuff. Um, for those who know me, I talk about a variety of things. Sometimes I talk about things that people have drawn to my attention, like today. I received an email and it was referring me to President Trump's um, new plan. Oh, well, it's not even a new plan. It's already in place. It was in place on the 31st of May that anyone coming into the United States has to pass a civics test. Now, this civics test is usually only for people who are applying for naturalization. But oh no, he decides that he's going to make it even more difficult for legal immigrants to get into the country. And we're talking about legal immigrants now. So he's saying that they've got to do an, a civics test and an English test. This is all a part of the merit-based plan he's got to only have the best, the creme de la creme in the United States. And that's not all. He's, well, actually, the UK um, in April um, of this year came out with a ruling as well about um, social media. No, let, I'm jumping a bit here. OK, let me go back a bit. So Trump is not only asking legal immigrants to um, apply to perform a civics test. Now, do you know what the requirement of a civics test is? Let me tell you. Um, a civics test, okay, to achieve a basic score, students must be able to define government constitution, government, constitution, the rule of law and politics. They must also be able to understand competing ideas about purposes of government and be able to describe the advantages of limited government. I mean, they're just visiting. And they have to learn all of that. A civics test. I mean, that shouldn't be allowed, really, really and truly. I mean, that is for people who are applying for naturalisation. He is now employing this for visit for for legal immigrants. Any Well, when they call legal immigrants, that's anyone applying for to get into the United States legally. He's making it as difficult as hell. And what else is he doing? He is asking for social media platforms, every single information about your social media activities over the last five years. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, um, Snapchat, every single thing. Apparently he's got a list of them. And you have to let them know every single Soft, every single um, social network that you're on. You also have to give up your user word, your username and your password. How is that possible? I mean, that kind of information is sacred. You don't even give it to your family members. So is he trying to say, well, look, this is one way of keeping you out. It's got nothing to do. I mean, they're trying to say it's to do with combating terrorism and all that stuff. We know that's not it. I mean, most most people, I mean, they just put crap on um, Facebook and all of this stuff. Most of the time, they're just messing around. But even if you're messing around, you don't really want the world and, and its sisters and brothers to know what you're saying. They're also able to get photographs timelines, locations that you've been, and apparently this is supposed to build up a picture to make them know that you are um, eligible to enter into the United States. It's absolutely ridiculous. But what's interesting is that the UK came out with a similar law to do with... Um, to do with uh, the same kind of social media, only they called it, what they called it, the online harms white paper. You know, England is so sophisticated. 
So they've come out with this online harms and it's supposed to, it's doing the same thing, but they haven't mentioned foreigners. They haven't mentioned immigrants. Their, their, their um, strategy is that is to protect children, to keep children safe. So this is why they want to know certain information and penalizing. Mind you, it is a bit different, to be honest. I've got to be fair on this one. They, what will happen is with the online harms paper is that the responsibility of the platforms, if anybody puts any harmful information up, anything to do with, um, let me see, child grooming, um, human trafficking, I mean, I can't imagine people being foolish enough to put that on social networks, but I have seen harmful things on YouTube, disrupt, destructive things on YouTube. So it's supposed to counter that. But, you know, I always think that there's a little bit of a link there somewhere. Not quite sure where it is yet. I haven't quite worked it out. But anyway, so... The um, Online Harms White Paper came out in April 2019 to do with um, social media. Um, same thing, Google, Facebook, YouTube. Safety by Design Framework. And they are, well, any, any of these platforms that allows disinformation I don't even know what they mean by disinformation as opposed to misinformation. I'm going to have to look that up and put that in the um, in the description because disinformation. What the hell does that mean? Oh, if I had my phone, I'd look up it up now. But anyway, it's, they're not talking about misinformation. They're talking about disinformation. Is my phone here? One sec. Uh, Let me see what disinformation means I've, while I've got your attention so we can all find out what it means together. Okay, what? Okay, I can actually speak it, can't I? Can I? Okay, Google. What does disinformation mean? Here's the definition of disinformation. False information which is intended to mislead, especially propaganda issued by a government organisation to a rival power or the media. Oh, okay, so, so what's misinformation then? Okay, Google, what is misinformation? Misinformation. Okay, Google. What is misinformation? Maybe there's no such word. Well, it's not responding. So that is that. But we know what disinformation is. It's propaganda and all that kind of stuff. So we have that. We have um, the State Department is now requiring... Oh, no, I'm getting confused here. Okay, so they want to minimise the spread of harmful information, prioritising children's safety and expose harmful content. I agree with that. But then you have to ask yourself, harmful by whose standards? I mean, you do have some real kind of serious, crazy people out there. So we don't know what they mean by that. Um... And yes, and so with regard, so going back to the visa situation now, the State Department is now requiring visa applicants to submit information about their social media accounts they used in the last five years, including email addresses and phone numbers. The government gets to access photos, locations, date of births, milestones and personal information. This has been planned since 2017, by the way. 
And what else have we got over the page? Uh, the New York Times writes, the move represents a step up from a September 2017 measure in which Homeland Security Department proposed and enacted a regulation calling for the surveillance of social media um, and yeah, a regulation calling for the surveillance of social me media use of all immigrants, including naturalized citizens. So let me read that again without fumbling. The move represents a step up from a September 2017 measure in which Homeland Security Department proposed and enacted a regulation calling for the surveillance of social media use of all immigrants, including naturalized citizens. U.S. imposed visa restrictions on Ghana because they wouldn't accept 7,000 Ghanaian nationals. They wanted to deport. That's something totally different. Um, but yeah, um, it's an extreme vetting of immigrants. Um, and these immigrants have to pass, like I said, the civics exam, speak English prior to admission. Well, that's what we're doing here as well. You know, they have to pass an English test if they want to work and live i mean it does make sense but the thing is what do they do with all the ones that are already there that can't speak english what are they doing about those i went into one of these large supermarkets and i went around the back i wanted some bread and i wanted it sliced so i took this um, loaf of bread round the back and i said excuse me sir he couldn't speak one word of English. I don't even know how he got the job. I'm not joking. There was another lady. I said, excuse me, um, that gentleman doesn't seem to understand what I'm saying. Blah, 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 blah. She was speaking to him in Spanish or something. He still didn't respond. I'm just like, I mean, I know with the EU, um, anybody can come into the country, but I would have thought, I mean, any um, EU citizen, can come into the country but I would have thought in order to get a job they would have had to speak English not unless he was deliberately ignoring me maybe he was having a bad day but I would have thought they would have to speak English in order to um, do that I mean how do you interact with your customers anyway so all I'm trying to say is that I do understand that if you're going to work in the country you do need to speak English. But there again, what about all these companies that are farming out to countries outside and when you call them for assistance, you can't understand what they're saying? What about that then? Why aren't they, why aren't they stopping that? But that's fine, isn't it? Because they're getting cheap labour. And now we have to put up with people who may not speak um, the English that they're expecting people who are coming in to speak. Mm. Anyway, um, what is this? To achieve a basic score, I've already said that, didn't I? Yeah, but anyway, so I thought I'd kind of um, put you in the loop there. So I think I think Trump is doing a pretty, pretty good job in keeping immigrants out. Very, very good. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what he's going to do with the ones that are in there. Maybe he's going to make them all make it, make them all sit a test or something. Honestly, but I think we're already. When I'm thinking about, because I like to see the parallels. When I'm thinking about those coming into the UK, they already have to do the English test. I doubt very, very much if the UK is going to make them do. Uh, naturalization test life in the UK test but hold on a minute they do have to do that yeah they do have to do that in order to um, come in well I think in order to do your get your indefinite leave to remain I'm sure I've read that they've got to do the life in the UK test now and the yeah they do Otherwise, why would have all of those students got booted out of the country when they were when they were sitting that test and apparently they said they cheated? So yeah, 
So they are doing the same thing. It does run parallel. It's just that in, um, the UK is not on board with this social media to the extent that America is at the moment. At the moment, they're just trying to tone down what's being spread. And that makes sense. You know, you can't have all sorts. And especially when you do have young people listening to propaganda. And then you don't even know what's true or what's not true. I mean, have you heard some of those conspiracy theories? And I don't even know what's what. But some of them, they're really, really scary. So that part, especially if there's no truth in it, I think that should be quashed. Because that we do have susceptible minds. And so, yeah, so I just thought I'd throw it out there, what's going on, and that's all for now.